now the latest on October 28th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropical scene today looks pretty much the same as yesterday in terms of the two storms that are active and their general intensities. Day 301 of the year so far, October 28th, 80 storms have formed around the world to date. In the Atlantic, Pablo has just weakened from hurricane status. Our latest estimate, 70 miles per hour, day 149 of hurricane season, well northeast of the Azores by now. Day 166 in the eastern Pacific, no systems active, nothing to report again in this basin today. The Western Pacific has Invest 98W crossing the southern Philippines and you've got the Invest near Sri Lanka and Cyclone Kiar which remains a powerful Category 4 storm. No systems active in the southern hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. Tonight's main feature is Cyclone Kiar which currently has winds of 150 miles per hour and an estimated pressure of 925 millibars on our estimates here, 466 miles from Karachi, Pakistan. 18.2 north, 65.7 degrees east. The storm is expected to continue west-northwest over the next few days, slow down, possibly stall, and there it will weaken off the coast of Oman later this week, and then we expect that it will start to drift towards the southwest, which is pretty much what all the models are now homing in on in terms of its forecast track. Here's the storm on the satellite imagery with the wind shear overlay. As you can see, wind shear values over the storm have been extremely low, zero to five knots. That's been the case all day today and yesterday in the last 48 hours. It will start to rise a little bit later on, but still, we're not looking at huge amounts of wind shear for another day or two at least. Looking around the world, then the Atlantic looks like this today. Um, I think you might still be able to see Pablo well off towards the north, probably not actually on that image, but elsewhere in the Atlantic it's looking fairly quiet. There's a little bit of disturbance activity going on in the Western Caribbean at this point, um, but nothing that has been tagged or designated yet, but an interesting little feature there off the coast of Honduras. And this is what the Gulf of Mexico is looking like today on the water vapor imagery, a fairly quiet picture. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, also a very quiet picture, a few disturbances, little small scale thunderstorm activities that are going on in a general tropical zone there in the Eastern Pacific, not too much going on at all. Um, moving into the Central Pacific there you've got more typical thunderstorm activity but nothing that is on the cards for any type of development. The Western Pacific looking a little bit more interesting, uh, a more potent disturbance there east of the Mariana Islands and given how this year has gone for that region, who knows it could be another system but nothing has been um, talked about of that just yet and a lot of uh, disturbed weather over the Philippines in association with that invest could develop in the South China Sea into our next tropical cyclone. The Australia and South Pacific region is looking somewhat quiet, a general thunderstorm activity again occurring over the Solomon Islands mainly and also not too far from Fiji towards the north. The Indian Ocean quite clearly dominated by the cyclone, fairly small though if you look at the whole basin the cyclone um, is extremely intense, but its size isn't massive. Sea surface temperatures on the western coast of Mexico still around 29, maybe pushing 30 degrees Celsius. Gulf of Mexico also fairly warm except the northern part. The western Caribbean is the hottest point of the Atlantic, temperatures nudging 30 degrees there. Out in the main development region still warm there as well, but again I don't think we'll be seeing much activity out there now. Um, and where Pablo is, the temperature is probably about 18 or less. Uh, the Indian Ocean, uh, in the wake of Cyclone Kiar, those temperatures are down a little bit, 28 or 29 degrees still though ahead of the storm, but it will start to choke a little bit on less energy. The eastern Bay of Bengal is very warm, 30 degrees plus, and in the South China Sea, around 28, 29 degrees Celsius. This is the latest imagery of Cyclone Kiar today, um, at this moment in time as of the Tropical Weather Bulletin release. And you can see on either side there's some significant cloud tops which are delivering high amounts of satellite estimated rainfall. And this is what Tropical Storm Pablo is looking like in this imagery. I think this is the most recent imagery and it's gone very far to the northeast now. Um, on just above actually the latitude of northern Spain 
uh, and the storm is located just to the west-northwest of Spain and Portugal. Um, so another very interesting storm that we've been tracking here in the Atlantic and now appears to be weakening significantly. We've put it down to 70 miles per hour. The next name on the Atlantic naming list will be Rebecca. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Raymond. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Hone. And over in the Western Pacific, uh, we are now looking out for the next name there, which will be Matmo. Over in the Indian Ocean, of course, we've had Kiar. The next name there is Maha. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter as well under the same name and you can contact us on any of those mediums. That's all for now for tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. We'll be back with more updates in the next 24 hours. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.